It's the Morning Cryptos with Mark Shepard, the hypnosis of money, the Crypto Cranker's Guide to the Galaxy of Greed, and you are here right now. Start the music. All right, so today I'm going to see if I can, <laughs> this is always my challenge today, it's 7.32. I'm going to see if I can literally give one minute to each of the cryptos and see if I can get out of here and get you on your way for your day. Um, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin, uh, yeah, it's looking pretty good here. And let me see if I can make this chart a little bigger. We are testing the resistance it's a beautiful thing i'm going to draw the line here then i'm going to move it up all right so look to bitcoin today tomorrow the next day to test this 4476 range and again let's crank through the one hours Get this little thingy jiggy all right, so we have a double top at this point on the one hours. That's good. It's going to break. But it might, it might do three tops. It might do four tops before it breaks. But that's the beauty of the sideways trading range is you can get in. It's gone up and it's come back a little bit. And then you can get in and look at the one minutes. Good time to get in. And boom, away you go. Bitcoin, do do do, Ethereum. Okay, Ethereum is just grinding up. It's not spurting up, it's grinding up every day, a little bit more, a little bit more. It's looking good. Uh, let me make this map a little smaller so you can see we're at 329. That is a significant retracement or re, uh, re-movement uh, of where it was again it hit 400 pretty much it touched for just you know 415 or so before it popped back down and it has worked its way up so i'm look i'm liking ethereum i'm i'm gonna keep the uh, couple hundred bucks of ethereum i have and see if what happens right um if uh if i get a little windfall I will look to get some more ethereum on a retracement and let's look at the one hours that's a sweet little chart people let me draw a line I love drawing lines right right nice lines and we know where the resistance is let's go to the 30s make this a little smaller move it over It's looking good. And, you know, on the one minutes, if you're going to get in and you want to get in here, this is a good place to get in, right? I say that every day. All right. That was Ethereum. Dash. People, Dash is so, like, reaching for it. It's really going for it. I like Dash. I like Dash a lot. And I got some. If you want to ride the dash train, again, get in when it comes back a little bit, right? It's stairs. That's the third, that was the one hours. Let's see the 30 minutes. Not a bad time to get in. And the one minutes. Not a bad time to get in. Um, and by the way, when I say not a bad time to get in, I'm not saying it's a good time to get in. A good time to get in was back here, <laughs> right, where it was trading in a sideways range with multiple tops, right? And again, most of us are newbies who are watching me. The, the wizened, grizzled, uh, two-year veteran of the cryptocurrency wars um, <laughs> would not be probably watching me and going, oh, what can Mark Shepard tell me? No, 
But you guys need to know your emotions when, and I see it in myself, like, oh my God, Dash is going up. I got to get more Dash. Well, I have Dash and I bought it here and I need to just wait, right, until the timing is right. And, and I used the analogy yesterday of hang gliders. I was at this place on California's coast, not not too far from San Francisco, just outside San Francisco, Fort something or other. And, and there's a spot there where the hang gliders do the hang gliding. And we went on a Sunday, beautiful day, and everybody's standing around. The hang gliders are all just sitting around on the grass and no one was hang gliding. And I'm like, what's the deal? And then all of a sudden the conditions became favorable so that the hang gliders could get aloft, go down the beach and come back and land. Right? That's what they were looking for, just the perfect conditions. And if they weren't just right, they wouldn't fly. They would just wait. And so that's really the attitude you have to have that, oh, okay, sideways trading range, the conditions are right, boom, then I'll get in. Right? And then when it moves, you got to kind of stay to the side. And when I say it's not a bad time to get in, I'm talking to the people that are like, oh, I missed it. Can I get in? Well, you can always get in <laughs> and it's never too late. And we're such an early stage in the game of all these cryptos that pretty much if you just closed your eyes and bought any one of them at whatever price and just held it, you would probably do okay, right? But we overthink things and we wanna know the exact moment and all this kind of stuff. So just recognize in the hypnosis of money, your tendency and when I say your, I'm talking to me as well, your tendency, our tendency to overthink things. All right, just keep that in mind. And that's why this is such a beautiful, I think, spiritual practice. Because <laughs> it's just you and the chart. It's just you and your own decisions, beliefs, perceptions, and uh, actions or inactions, right? Okay, that's it. Not saying any more about Dash. Okay, Litecoin. Litecoin, I thought, was making a big break the other day. <laughs> and for Litecoin, it was a pretty big break. Uh, and it is, we're on the one days here. Was it really only three days ago, two days ago, when I made this pretty big move? Yeah. So it has come back a little bit. It was all the way up here at 54. And it will go there again. Again, in Litecoin, our... Uh, our resistance, I'll have to draw the line here. Our resistance, the tippy top of our resistance is 55-ish. And we came really damn close. So it's gonna keep, let's squeeze this chart a little bit. I kept, I tried to find some better charts this morning, but it, it took me like 20 minutes. I didn't find anything better than this. So um, Litecoin, it's like I said, it's not a bad time to get in. It's it's come back to its little trading range. So you could sneak in here and if it moves, you know, and test this 55 and breaks out, you're going to do well. And I think in the next couple of days, as the news of the SegWit uh, activation kind of filters through the world and and the benefits to Litecoin of being a really integrated dancing partner with Bitcoin, I think, you know, this is, again, my theory, I think that the price is going to blast up. Regardless, I think we're going to see easily $100 Litecoin by December. Um, I'm extremely bullish of this coin because it seems to be well managed. It has a pretty good and dedicated team of people, and it integrates well with the biggest of the big uh, coins, uh, Bitcoin, and um, I like it, All right? So again, not a bad time to get in. Might actually be a good time to get in, you know? I mean, you should have gotten in back here. However, you, and that's the thing is when you see the spurt up, there's almost always, you know, 15 opportunities to get in at a lower price, right? And I would say the best price was this 49, but we'll see. Um, I think it seems to be kind of trading nicely around, you know, this $50 range. 
you know, 49 to 51. So we'll see. On the 30s, again, not a bad time to get in. Uh, there was a better time, and it was a couple of days ago. <laughs> but that was a couple of days ago. We are now, right? The present moment is what matters here. And uh, so that is Litecoin. Now, Monero, Monero is really consolidating here. And uh, it, it burst over 100 earlier, and now it's trading at the 95 range. Again, do not get in here. Not a good time. Bad time. Bad time to get in. <laughs> All right, uh, and here on the one hours, we have a double top. So, you know, it's it's not at its peak, it's not at its highest high. I think it might come back a little bit. You might get a, another chance to get in. But here's the deal, like, um, I saw a great interview uh, on box mining on YouTube, and uh, it was with... The, uh, one of the co-founders of Exodus Wallet, and he was explaining why Monero is not yet in the wallet, is because it's so clandestine that when they've they've tried it, and his partner JP um, at Exodus really loves Monero. Uh, the problem is when you send when they've d they've done tests of the Exodus Wallet, and when you send. You send it, it's like you can't tell if it's gone or not. You can't tell where it went. It's so secretive, right? So that's a problem. <laughs> it might be a good problem to have. Uh, so, and I have yet to drag my ass over to Poloniex and get some damn Monero. I, I just feel like now is not the best time to get in. I want to wait till it's on a retracement. But it's something I'm watching, and a lot of people like it. I think it, <clears throat> it has really good street cred, and... Um, and I really like the idea of currency that other people cannot snoop on, right? <clears throat> so, and I think a lot of us like that. Because a lot of us feel that there are certain powers in the world that have have gotten their share, and it's, and it's time for us to get our share. <laughs> but we won't go there at the moment. Okay, so that's it. That's it for the morning cryptos. This is Mark Shepard, and I really appreciate you guys watching. And if you like what I'm doing, please subscribe and check out some of my other videos. And I've been obsessed for the last 26 days. This is the 26th day of my 90-day challenge to learn everything I possibly can about cryptocurrencies and crypto, what I call crypto cranking, which are these programs and these other options other than just straight trading. Although you could probably say that straight trading is crypto cranking as well. I just like the idea of cranking these cryptos. Um, and there's all kinds of wonderful Ponzi schemes out there and um, rumors and hearsay and people making videos of making tons of money and uh, it's it's a wild wild west people and it's very interesting I'm a hypnotherapist I'm a musician I'm a songwriter I'm a storyteller I'm someone who is vastly interested in the human mind and how it works and and it mostly comes out of me trying to figure out how I can function in this society as someone who um, is uh, extremely curious and who does not play well with others who are following the cultural dictates of conformity and uh, conformity and and sheepishness. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I have some opinions and I share them as I go, and hopefully, I can help you learn. And a little bit later, I'm going to explore the new Exodus wallet for advanced users called Eden. And I'll do that on camera, and uh, we'll see what else is going on. So check back later in the day for my next videos, whatever they are going to be. I don't know yet, but uh, they will emerge. So 
Peace, grooviness, over and out. This is Mark Shepard. Start the music. Have a great day. This has been the Morning Cryptos. <laughs>